Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this documentation video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the free layouts that come with our Divi Timer Pro plugin. So here's a look at them, quick little thumbnails of the designs that we can do. Again, these are included for free when you purchase the Divi Timer Pro. So again, this timer, this countdown timer has an auto restart recurring feature that just restarts when it ends. It also has an evergreen feature that you know when the user lands on the page then it starts counting down right then and then there's different actions and you know you can set all the settings so anyway that's what it does but today we're going to be customizing this thing and we're going to be achieving some really cool designs so let's go over here to the documentation click on customizing the countdown timers and like i said there is a free set of layouts that are included with the purchase. So I'm over here in my demo. I'm going to show you how to get these installed. So if we go to our dashboard, go to the Divi library. All right. And then we're going to click on this button where it says import and export. And then we're going to be on import. Now let's go choose the file. So we're going to want to choose that file that you received when you bought the plugin. Okay. So under Divi timer pro extras, there's two files in here. One is module-style.css. That's just the CSS, and you can find that on the documentation page. But right here it says Divi Timer Pro Module Styles, Divi Library Import. Let's click on that. Go ahead and import those. Awesome, there they are, one through 10. I wanna point something out here. See it says type, and they all say section. All right, that's on purpose. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this blue plus button, and then we'll go here, add from library. So there they are, but you might be wondering, well, which one do I want? That's where you can go here to the demo, and that's gonna be found in the documentation. You'll be able to look at all the different demo styles here. Um, there's just, you know, 10 different styles. There's one. Here we can look at number two, and they're all just random. I just made them. Um, chose some different colors, things like that, and different designs. And, you know, some of them are pretty nice. There's circles. So let's say we wanted this one. So that's number three. So we can't quite see the numbers here, so we're going to have to search. So let's say three. Click on that. There you go. And then um, I think it's an extra section there. So delete that. But there you go. And then go in here and, you know, change your settings to whatever you want here. Here it's on auto restart. Um, or evergreen, whatever you want that on. All right. So that's how you add the different timers to your website. And I'll just point out something. If we go to the grid view here, you can see that there's a code module and that's where the CSS is located. So let's go back here. All right. So here you can see all of the CSS that we have in here. For example, the border collar right there it is. Okay things like that. Now over on our documentation, we have this CSS. And so if you're one who likes to play around with CSS, here you go. I have a whole bunch here and I tried to explain what each one does. Um, like for this one, hide all the separators. You could add that, um, just different things like that. Okay. So there you go. You can customize these however you want. And again, installing them is pretty easy. So let's just do uh, one more just to show you. Okay, so I'll delete that. Let's go add another one. Actually, let's go here to see which one we want to use. So we're looking at the demos here. Oh, that's pretty nice, has a nice gradient. Let's look at number five. All right, so it circles again, but they're filled in. Tried to make them all a little different, have some different features in each one. There they're stacked, so more of like, you know, two and two, so that's kind of nice. Here we're getting a little more interesting. We have the label here, the hour, seconds, things in a different styling. All right, that one's pretty cool. I really like that one. Kind of looks more like a calendar or something. You can see we've hid one of them. We've hid the days completely. Back in the documentation here, um, which one would that be? Hide the days section. There you go. So that's all we're doing there. So let's say we like number eight. Add from library, like we said, eight. Okay, there you go. 
just like that you can have this style and again you can go into the grid view and see the code that's in there just quickly look at the other demos we have here all right there's one that's kind of different with the separator line all right and there's another nice one so there you go there's are included i hope you enjoy using these i hope this makes sense if you have any questions you know be sure to let us know um, just check out the rest of the documentation for this plugin how to use the auto restart feature how to use the evergreen feature all that good stuff so let us know and we hope you enjoy using our countdown timer